Roger, that is a celebration of space flight. Of space exploration. An opportunity to see and learn about our space. Collaboration between Grand Valley State University and Grand Rapids Public Museum. An event honoring Roger B. Chaffee. Born in Grand Rapids and lived in Greenville and went to you know, Grand Rapids Central High School. He was really respected as kind of this hero from uh, West Michigan. He was the first astronaut from uh, Michigan. Part of the crew of Apollo 1 on January 27, 1967. They were doing a pre-flight test on the launching pad. There was a fire that broke out due to a spark in the main compartment in the capsule. All three of them died very quickly of asphyxiation. Roger B. Chaffee, Ed White, and Gus Grissom. He is a source of pride. If the accident of Apollo 1 did not occur, uh, we most likely would not have gone to the moon when we did before the end of the decade, or if at all. In 2016, it was the 50th anniversary of that accident. So we decided to commemorate the anniversary of the Apollo 1 fire. Strengthen that. Um, uh, that legacy that he's that he's had. It would make sense to celebrate space exploration in his honor. Show that we are still very much a pioneering spirited people. A great way to sort of honor sort of a local hero's legacy and at the same time present new and interesting information. The conference is open to the general public. Completely free to attend. A week-long um, celebration of science and engineering culminating in a Roger That specific weekend. A two-day multidisciplinary symposium. Activities that we have at the museum, speakers that we invite for the event. And you can listen to talks about the math behind space travel. And if that isn't your cup of tea, you can definitely listen to talks about um, society and how we're going to go to space as a, as a people. I'm talking with an astronaut. It's awesome. The art behind that is inspired by space travel. So it might be those STEM fields, the science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. It could be social science, it could be literature, it could be pop culture. But there's also plenty of room for people who are studying the arts, philosophy, history, for example. There are a number of ways that people in the community are interested in space, think about space, contemplate space, and we want to make sure that all of those are available. Space is huge. and. There is enough space for everyone. 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 There's enough space for everyone.